Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shalom. Well, getting ready to head out to work. Uh, safety glasses, check, check. Got my scan in ID badge, check, check. We're just kind of getting prepared, getting ready for another day. Got our lunch packed up. Hey, we're set for the work day. But I watch a little bit of this uh, television. I tell you, the viruses, this virus, that coronavirus doesn't spread overnight. Spreads more and more every 24 hours. And now the, the big talk is the quantitative easing. You know, print money out of thin air to bail people out. They've been doing this for years and years. Every time there's a uh, a virus or a financial collapse or a economic meltdown, something that uh, takes a hit on the American economy, what the uh, government officials tend to do is print more money out of thin air. Now, the United States of America is a country that is trillions and trillions of dollars in debt. The uh, United States will never be able to afford to pay back its debts. You know, we live in a country that is based upon debts. You have to be in debt in order to live in America. Now, if you want to go out here and get a mortgage, the bank owns your home, you're in debt to the bank till you pay off that home. If you want to go buy a brand new car, you're in debt to the bank till you pay off that car. A system built and based upon debts. Well, now, if, if, you, if there's a big sickness, there's a big virus outbreak, pandemic, we print more money out of thin air. Two trillion dollars is the the number they're putting on this quantitative easing. A stimulus, they call it a stimulus package to stimulate the economy and whatnot. Well now, two trillion dollars is a drop in the bucket compared to the amount, the expense, the cost that this uh, outbreak, this virus outbreak is going to do to the American economy. They claim that this two two trillion dollars is going to ease, going to be a, a stimulus, going to stimulate the economy. But uh, what what these people don't think about is where this two trillion dollars, where the money actually goes. Who gets their hands on the money? Who receives this money? Where is this money spent? What are these people buying with this money? I guarantee you, if you were to follow those dollars, they'd probably be spent and end up in places that don't really need that money. They'd probably end up in the wrong greedy hands. These, this stimulus package, not doing much good for the American economy. It hadn't done good in the past, these quantitative stimulus packages. And they're not going to do good in the future. See, we, we live in a country that is broke. In debt. Way over their head. Um, this stimulus package. Not going to do too much good this time around. Just like it didn't too, do too much good last time around. See, normally what happens is the rich corporations, the rich, greedy individuals become richer. But now the poor people, the poor citizens become even more poor. More and more poor. And over here the, the rich people get their hands on the money. So uh, we have a divide here where the poor are getting much poorer and the rich are getting richer and richer. So now the, to stimulate the economy with a stimulus package, $2 trillion, it's not a drop in the bucket. 
for the people who really need the money. Not going to do much good. It'll be a temporary, very temporary fix to a major problem. That this country don't have the stomach to balance their budgets. We live in a country that is broke. In debt. No sight, no future sightings of ever getting out of debt. Shalom. Shalom.